My next guests are Sonia Brigham and Tara Gordon. They're the founders of 212 Breaths. How are you guys doing? Great. We're great. So tell me, Sonia, tell me a little bit about where 212 Breaths came from. Well, it was really um, Tara's inspiration first. And Tara and I have been working together for a number of years and really have wanted to, to work even closer together on a project. So when Tara approached me about 212 Breathe, I just jumped on board right away. So tell me, Tara, where'd you get the inspiration from? Obviously from this COVID outbreak, right? Obviously from that, but as the owner of a holistic wellness space, I really started to help people and connect people. And while we had our virtual studio up and running, it was breaking my heart that I couldn't help the people that really needed it, including friends and family. So in thinking about the research coming out and that it's a respiratory disease, a just virus, we thought about the idea that breath work and retraining our breathing muscles and expanding our lung space both helps with anxiety and helps fight what the virus does to our body. So ladies, like uh, this is a stressful job that I do. You know, I, something I notice my breathing when I'm doing interviews. What are some good breath exercises that you could share with our audience here? Okay, so um, are you sitting comfortably? I am very comfortable. Okay, so I want you to now um, put your feet flat on the ground. I want you to feel your whole foot connecting to the ground. I want you to feel those bones at the bottom of your bum where your legs connect, the bottom of your spine, really plugging into the ground and letting your spine just grow up tall from there. Not a lot of force, not a lot of effort, no squeezing those shoulders back, but relaxing them. And then I want you just to think about your head reaching up just a little bit more as if somebody's hand was back behind it and that you could get it up without sending the ribs forward, that everything is over your hips. And from there, you're just gonna take a hand on your belly and breathe so much that your belly could fill up with air and the back of your body could fill up with air. And then exhale and let that all go and see if you could grow a little taller from that without changing the position of your rib cage. Now take your other hand behind you. So you have one hand in front of you, one hand behind you now. And breathe so much, your hands move away from each other. And then as you exhale, they come back together, letting all the air out. You're gonna take one more breath like that. And then we're gonna take our hands and place them around our rib cage. And a little higher. Get that nice stretch into the shoulders. Now let the shoulders relax into that and the arms drop down. Let the back of the ribs scoot back over your hips. Let your jaw relax, let your tongue be heavy. You can close your eyes for this if you like. And you're gonna breathe so much that your thumb and your fingertips reach away from each other. And then as you exhale, you're just gonna, again, gonna grow taller, feeling a little bit of that postural support. Breathing so much into the rib cage that it expands wide and then exhale and growing just the slightest bit taller as if the back of your body could make more space for your lungs and your diaphragm. And then from there I just want you to think about sending the thumbs back the tiniest bit more if it's in your range of motion. Great. If not, just imagine there's something there. And I want you to breathe so much back of the rib cage that it almost feels if you're that you're sending the ribs back but you're actually not changing your position or your spine. This is gonna to start to unlock the posterior diaphragm, which tends to get locked with all the, air sitting at computer postures and some other anatomical uh, positions that we take a little too often. And it's gonna just give us a little bit more lung capacity. So just breathing into the back right there, feeling it fill with air. This is my favorite one, Tara, I feel like, I, I don't know, I, I feel relaxed now and I feel like my back hurts less and I feel comfortable. Right, so the idea is that when this all works properly, that we actually start to enter a parasympathetic state. We're no longer in fight or flight. We're also not breathing into our accessory muscles, which Sonia might wanna get into the details of, why that part is so important. Yeah, Sonia. so essentially um whenever you're doing breath work if you are able to be active in terms of seated or standing if you're not in a completely sedentary state like laying down 
you know, you really want to start to pay attention to posture because it, it definitely affects your lung capacity and your oxygen levels. So one thing particularly being making sure that your head is placed back over your tail and not jutting forward. Um, and then another one being that we're not kind of slumping or compressing in any area of the rib cage because we want to be able to breathe three-dimensionally. Your diaphragm is supposed to expand three-dimensionally as it contracts and jumps down. So if we end up posturally being stuck, whether that's our ribs shifted forward, for example, or ribs back or side to side, we're not actually able to um, engage the diaphragm as fully we end up breathing more with the muscles in our neck. Wow, so tell me why this is useful for coronavirus patients and why you started this organization. I know you're both entrepreneurs, but why did you start this charity? So one of the reasons that it's really useful is after being intubated or ventilated, you stop learning how to use those muscles on your own. Most people are in this position where they can't move for weeks, sometimes up to three, four weeks, still coming off of it. And your muscles lose their tone, lose their muscle memory, lose kind of the connections that make it give you that ability to move. So by reconnecting and reteaching people how to breathe properly, you're already engaging your deep core muscles and starting to strengthen the torso. And the program has multiple mobility levels. So we're doing two lives a day where you can hop on with a practitioner, but we're also building a YouTube library that nurses, frontline workers, and anybody who just isn't available at that time dealing with either anxiety or COVID can hop on. So some of the shorter videos we're starting to compile are actually for nurses to give to people who are sitting in beds while they change their medications, or if they're mobile enough to move their limbs, some they would do either a high mobility chair, which means they could be seated, or even a low mobility chair bed, which means that they can't move their arms. So there's a lot of different people that need a lot of help. Uh, a family member of mine was in that, my sister-in-law's father was in that position where, and unfortunately we lost him, but he needed about three hours, of, or most people needed about three hours of PT a day <laughs> and are not getting the amount they need. So this is just an added tool to take some pressure off of our frontline. And also for essential workers, for frontline workers that are having these anxieties and that are locked into these fight or flight postures, it helps them find a way to relax. So Sonia, where do we find out more? <laughs> Um, well, you can go to 212pilates.com, and there is a lot of information on that page for 2 and 2 Breathe. We have um, a whole list of, of different um, professionals who have joined the ranks and are offering their time for free. We have um, doulas, yoga instructors, Pilates instructors. We also are talking with acupuncturists and chiropractors and physical therapists as well. So you can see that kind of lineup on that site um, and there's also a link to the YouTube channel as well as to the streaming videos. Well thank you for the work that you're doing right now ladies. I feel like it's really important and even for those of us who haven't had COVID we're dealing with a lot of anxiety and I feel like these breathing exercises could be really helpful for us.